Hey guys, welcome to my channel. How's everybody doing today? In today's video, I'm going to be tracking my spending that I did August the 6th through the 11th. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Miss V. My husband and I are consumer debt free, but I have since started um saving some of our spending money by using the cash envelope system. And I decided to start tracking my spending, you know, because I want to get a hold, a handle on how I'm spending my money because I plan to retire when I'm 60. So I want to go ahead and save as much as I can without depriving myself. So I decided to start tracking my spending. I think this is very beneficial. I enjoy watching those videos. So I decided to start tracking mine. So let's go ahead and get started. What I do is highlight as I talk about the day that I spent money. So First thing is Friday, August the 6th. I went to Dollar Tree. I spent $2. Then I went to Bojangles. Um, I received a free chicken sandwich, a coupon for a free chicken sandwich in the mail. And I couldn't just get the free chicken sandwich and go. I had to order order fries. So I spent $2 on an order fries. So that came out of my eating out allowance, I give myself $15 for eating out. So that was $2. And then I give myself $20 a week for Dollar Tree. So let's move on to Saturday. I went back to Arby's and I got me a milkshake for $2. That came out of the eating out um, envelope. And I went to the beauty supply store to pick up me a hair dryer and a pack of hair. And that was $24. So I only have $15 in personal so I got the additional $9 out of my Miss V sinking fund. So that's what that sinking fund is for, you know, when I overspend so that I don't have to use, you know, my debit card. So that's where I got the additional $8. So I went ahead and spent the entire personal, the entire um, personal allowance of $15. So we're going to go on over to Sunday, still snacking. I had a hard week, y'all. I work in healthcare, my respiratory therapist, and um, I was kind of depressed because COVID is um real, and so that's not an excuse, but that's why I'm snacking so much. I'm just letting you know. So I stopped, and when I got off work, I went to Guthrie's and picked up me a chicken box, and it was nine dollars. So I think that's all of my um eating out money because I only allowed myself um fifteen dollars for eating out. So I did that, and on Monday, got my hair done. I decided to lock my hair. So she went ahead and started the process, and that was $100. So that was my entire um, $100 allowance that I allowed myself for the week. And then I stopped by Dollar Tree and spent $4.40. So I think I'm going to like having my hair locked. I don't know yet because I can't really wear it out like I want to and it's you know not really long enough but we're gonna see shout out to um Taylor Budgets for the inspiration and my um nephew's wife her hair is so pretty so that Tuesday on the 10th I went back to the Dollar Tree I spent two dollars I think I just enjoy going to Dollar Tree because I probably could have got everything that I got I purchased on in one day so I think I just enjoy going to the Dollar Tree. And I finally, on Wednesday, had a no spin. Yay! So I only had one no spin this week, which is fine. But, yeah, I spent a lot of money. I guess you say, Miss V, you ain't buy no groceries. I did not have to buy any groceries. My daughter um blessed us with some groceries. And plus, you know, I'm doing a 10K challenge. So I cooked a lot of things that, um you know, were already in our freezer or, you know, I cook meal that did not require that many um, ingredients. So that's what I'm doing over here on my channel. So yeah. So that's it. So let's break it down and see if we have everything. I was using my cash envelopes, but I have since swapped over to a wallet. Hold on just a minute. Okay. Remember I had these colorful um, cash envelopes, but I have since swapped over to a wallet that I want off Instagram, but if you're interested in any of these colorful um, cash envelopes there in my Etsy shop, check the link in the description box. So yeah, I have um, 
upgraded as you would say and this is the wallet check out my video i give you a full review and a full setup of the wallet but this is my wallet so i gotta go through here and see if we have anything left so household has zero well i had household and personal together when i had these when i had these um envelopes so i i really didn't give each one of their own um allowance so we'll do that next week so either way household has nothing personal has nothing and spending of course has nothing remember because i got my hair done but dollar tree i had twenty dollars for dollar tree i spent two dollars on Friday, that's knocked it down to eighteen dollars, and then I spent four dollars and forty cent on um, the ninth, and that's thirteen. Knocked it down to thirteen dollars. I don't do the change, and then I went back to Dollar Tree, and that's two more dollars. So I'm supposed to have eleven dollars left, but I only have three, so I don't know what happened. You know, Miss V, this is real life, so. I probably spent it on a milkshake and forgot to write it down or something but because I was snacking this week. So we do have $3 left for Dollar Tree. So I'm going to put that over there. And then groceries, I have my entire $50. $10, $20, $30, $40, 50 So I have $53 left. So I'll let you know what I do with this in my um video where I stuff my cash envelopes. So yeah. So, yeah, this was a kind of a hard week for me. I'll just be honest. It's kind of sad watching people die every day. You go to work, somebody's dying. So, let me just um, get off of it because that's not what this video is about. I want to uplift everybody, but I also want to be transparent with you and just let you know why I'm kind of down in this video. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's it. That's what I spent from the 6th through the 11th. And come back tomorrow.